and this is Ben Ray from iForm Builder. I wanted to put together a short video here today to go over how to take an iForm Builder record submission and push it into a Google Doc or a PDF. Um, so how this functionality works is we're actually going to be using the iForm Builder post and Google scripts to write something that will, uh, will give us this result. So on the left hand side I have my form here and this may uh, hide but essentially it's just three simple fields here. This could be mapped to any form that you choose. Uh, so, and then on the right hand side we have our specific document that we want to to fill in. So again, this can you can upload this Word doc um, from maybe like Microsoft Word or something. And this is kind of a doc you may want to fill with iForm Builder data. So I have just five or six fields here just to show for this demo. Uh, but essentially what we're going to do once we have this document here, we have all of our fields here. So I'll bold some of these to show. These are the fields and this is the placeholder for it. Um, you can use whatever you want for a placeholder. I just try to follow the same format just so it doesn't get, get confused. Um, so like the percentage, then the name, and then the other percentage, and same with age and date of birth. So I'm just going to bold all these just to show how that looks. Now once this is done, what we need to do is go into Tools, and then we need to go into Script Editor. Now when we're in Script Editor, we just want to go, we want to build a blank project. And we're actually just going to want to copy this script, and I'll, I'll share the, uh, the URL to the script so you can just copy right into your account. But we want to copy the script here. And then once we have that, we're going to look through and we're going to go over how this the script is put together. Um, so this function do post will run every single time that a, a record is posted to this specific URL. So we're just going to name this Google Docs test. Um, what we're going to do here is we have to define a key which will be used in iPhone Builder for later. Um, but where it gets important here is this scenario here. So we have a function called get element. Now this get element is at the bottom here. And what this will do is actually get the data for a specific element in a, in a field. So I'm going to get the ID um, and I'm going to only get a few fields here. So I'm going to get ID. Um, and let's go to my form here and see what fields we need to grab out of it. So these are just going to be the data column names right from iPhone Builder. So I'm going to call this ID num. We're also going to have the name field, which we're going to call my name. Then we also have another field in the form. This is the data column name here, and this is the variable you want to set. We also have one that's called age. So this is called my age. And then there's one more field that we have. It is uh, date of birth. Our DOB equals this function date of birth. So once we have these fields parsed out into the specific variables, we need to go into here and choose an ID of the Google Doc for this template. So we actually want to use this document, the one we're writing the script in, as our, uh, our template doc. So you can go in here and copy everything after the slash D all the way up before slash edit. So we'll copy that we're going to paste that into here. So now it knows let's refer to this Google Doc when we want to build this report. Um, and I'm just going to do some logging here so we know which one it is. Um, what it's going to do is actually make a copy of this then get the ID of the copy as well as open up that, that specific document and then get the body. So once we get the body now we know we can look in here and we can start um, replacing some of these fields with the fields that we've specified up above. Um, so Let's go in here, and we only have uh, four fields, I believe, so we can get rid of these. So we actually just want to go to our doc here and see we have a name. So we're going to go to his name and put in name here. Then we're also going to do the same for these other ones. So we have date. we got to make sure that that is we'll rename this to age. I apologize. So we'll copy this. We're going to go in here and then change this to age. And what we're going to do is go back <coughs> into DOB. Again, change this one to date of birth, DOB. And then the one other field that I have in this is ID. So then we'll also have the ID field here, ID num. So again, I didn't do these IR fields, so just for sake of demo purposes, these will not be filled in, only fill, fill in these four. Um, but what we're going to do next is we're going to go down here, and 
gonna this is actually for photos so that may be in another video so we'll get rid of the photos for now um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this document just since we have, have got everything um, now we want to make a specific PDF here so we're actually gonna create a file and get it as a PDF um, now we need to get the ID of the folder to post into so I'm gonna go into here I have a Google Docs video folder I'm just going to copy this ID out. This is the folder itself. Uh, and I'll go back into here and get this ID and paste it right into here. Now we know we're going to take this document, replace everything in it, and then when we return it, we're going to return it into this folder. So I'm actually just getting the source of the file here, I'm making a new file, and we can name this file however we want. So I'm going to name this um, name plus ID num. So the file name will actually be a concatenation of the name as well as the ID number. So it will always be unique because this ID for my phone builder is, is unique per record. Um, then we're going to take this new file and add it to the folder. Um, we're also going to wipe out these two other files that we made before just so they're, they're not clogging up our, our inbox. Um, now one other thing I did put in here, so this will auto email. So this will auto, automatically email um, some the, the PDF out to the user or to ever whatever email address. So just for sake of time, I'm going to put in my email address. You can also map this to a variable in your form if you want to do multiple. Um, again, I'm going to call this name and ID num again. So this is like the subject. And see attachment, test PDF, and that should do it. So we'll see it kind of goes through and, and maps out into the appropriate fields and everything else. So let's save this. We want to manage the versions here and go version 1 save a new version. Now what we're finally going to do is go publish and deploy as a web app. Now we need to deploy version 1, who has access, anyone, even anonymous, because we're going to be running this automatically, so once it's set up you'll never have to really change it again. Let's copy this URL here, and we'll go into iPhoneBuilder.com, and we're on here I'm going to log in and, uh, and assign the, uh, the specific form to post to that exact URL. So under form assignment, I can go to my form. So this was Google Docs. Oh, Google. Google Docs post. I'm going to choose assign. And I'm going to edit this endpoint because I don't want to use this one here. I want to use a new endpoint that I have. And we can turn off guaranteed delivery. We don't need it for this test. Um, so I'm going to update this endpoint. Now I'm going to pull up my device here. Just one second. Okay, so now I have my device. And now what is going to happen, you're going to see, is that I'm going to go back to my drive. And I'm going to fill out this form. And we're going to start seeing some things happen in Google here once this happens. Um, and actually, one thing before we do this, we just want to make sure we have um, just play this. Because we're actually going to have to make sure that we have authorization to run this script. So continue. I'm going, just because there's a few things happening, right? View and manage, view and manage documents, send email, and connect to a service. So we just have to accept that. So now the function will be able to run. It's going to get an error, which is no problem. So I'm going to fill this in. Ben Ray, enter an age of 34. And I'll just key in a random date of birth here. And choose done. Now when I submit this record, we're going to look here and we should see some things happening in Google here in just a second. So let's see what's going to happen. Let's refresh the page. Okay, so get text Okay, so there we go. It looks like it did it here. We did have a few small errors. We saw ID 17 came across, the date of birth came across, and we had some two issues with these fields here. Let's go back and let's see what's what's wrong with these. My name, my age. Let's double check the forms here. So one thing I didn't do was I, I should have actually copied it directly from the form builder itself. So we'll go into... Uh, into the Google Docs folder or form in here. Uh, 
Um, Google Docs post, there it is. Let's see, we have enter name, enter age, and date of birth. Okay, so the reason here was that I used enter name when it should have been enter age. Or en enter age, and we'll go back into here, enter name. Okay, perfect. So let's try it one more time here. So this is good to see just because for troubleshooting issues, you may, uh, you most likely will be running through the same sort of scenario. So we're going to go manage versions, create a new version, change DCNs, data column names, and then I'm going to publish, deploy as a web app again, deploy the second version this time, update it again. The URL does not change, so we can just continue to use that again. Um, now I'm actually going to go into here and open up my device, create a new record here, Joe, and the age of Joe is going to be, it's going to be 82, and here's his birthday. Hit done. Now when we submit this, we should see something a little different happening. Um, we did see it went into my right folder here, so I go into Google Docs video, we'll see, oh, dismiss, let's see what's going on here. There we go, so it just built one. So we'll let it load here. It should bring everything happening in, in just a few seconds. Here we go, so Joe-20, which we named it. And then I can open this up and I can see that it filled in these fields here. So Joe, age 82, there's the date of birth and there's the ID. So if we do want to do this with other fields, it is definitely possible. We can do images as well, which I'll work on, on putting another video together for that. Um, so I hope this video is helpful in kind of showing how to simulate this scenario when you have an iPhone Builder form that you want to map into some sort of document. And Google Docs can be a tool for that. Uh, please let us know if you have any other questions on this. Thanks for watching.